Hi, my dear friends. Hello, my dear brothers and sisters. This is Bobby Kitain, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today, we want to reflect on the Gospel of Matthew, particularly the teaching of the Lord to love your enemies, one of the most difficult teachings that uh, uh, the Lord has, been, has, has given us. But I want to begin by telling you two stories. The first story I heard from the homily of a priest about a couple who had a daughter who was brutally raped and murdered. This couple was obviously devastated. They were grieving about what happened to their daughter. But being Christians, the couple decided to visit the perpetrator in jail and extend to him forgiveness. The gesture of the couple baffled the man so much it staggered him to the point that after serving his sentence and when he was released from jail, the first thing he did was to seek out this couple. And arriving at their home, the man went down on his knees with tears flowing from his eyes and he asked forgiveness from them. But you know, the more staggering thing about the story was the response of the couple. Not only did they forgive the man, but they adopted the man, treated him like their own son and helped him to recover, to start his life anew. As a result, the man was eventually converted to Christianity. Such a staggering kind of love. The second story has something to do with our country, the Philippines. Uh, in the 1980s, we had a revolution which was uh, known throughout the world. It's called the Edsa Revolution, the People Power Revolution. And in that revolution, um, the government was uh, sending, were sent uh, troops, soldiers, tanks to disperse uh, the people in the streets, those who were protesting against uh, uh, the administration at that time. But instead of fighting back, the people met the tanks with rosaries and prayers and flowers. And the rest is history. The world knew what happened. Uh, the soldiers turned back and the revolution became a success. Why? Because instead of retaliating and fighting back, the Filipino people gave a staggering kind of love which melted the hearts of the soldiers and obviously prevented bloodshed during that time. These are two stories, brothers and sisters, which tell us that, hey, we are capable of such great hatred, and yet we are also capable of such great love. And we might be saying, to love your enemy is such a tall order. It goes against our very nature as human beings, true. Because being fallen creatures, our very nature is retaliation and revenge. And yet in the gospel today, Jesus tells us to love our enemy, such a radical kind of love. But this is the kind of love that would stagger the world. This is the kind of love that would bring about conversion in the recipient of that love. And yet, we might be saying, but Bob, it's so unfair. It's so unfair to love the person who hurt you, to love the person who seeks your harm. It's so unfair. Yes, it's true. Until we realize that we have been first recipients of such kind of love. From whom? From the Lord himself. As he was hanging on the cross, instead of retaliating, which he could, he could do with all the power in his hands. Instead of retaliating, the Lord loved us still. The Lord forgave us. And you know what? He continues to do that to you and me today whenever we sin. We deserve punishment and yet the Lord gives us forgiveness, mercy, and love. When we realize that we have been first recipients of such staggering kind of love, we can find the strength, the power to love in the same way. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today I want to encourage you to tap into that power within you. The power which came from the fact that you have been loved first. That you have been a recipient of such staggering kind of love. And let this propel you to love others with the same kind of love. Costly extravagant, unconditional, and yes, staggering. If you have been blessed by this video, feel free to share this with other people that others too might be blessed. 
God bless you.